son of a... So today I thought I'd show you guys something that's um, pretty basic in the world of magic. It's just a, kind of a switch. It's a, it's a switch trick. You, you, you get, okay, so uh, for this I'm going to use these uh, DMC Elites. Of course, these are the, um, the marked cards that are fantastically made by, uh, by DM Cartamundi and uh, Philip Smith right there. So uh, a big shout out to, to good old Phil there. So this deck actually brings, uh, it brings a couple jokers here. So these jokers we're gonna use for the uh, the following trick, if if you want to call it that. So what happens is that we're just gonna take the jokers one at a time and see if we just uh, give it a little bit of a magic blow right here. Uh, just a magic blow. See it it turns into the uh, the ace of spades there. That's uh, it's kind of crazy. So we'll do that again here. We'll just use um I'll tell you what we're not gonna blow. We're gonna use two jokers for this uh, for this next one. We'll use this one right here. So what happens is that if you just give it a little bit of a shake, you see that one turns into the uh, the Ace of Diamonds. What What's that I hear? You want the last two done at the same time? Oh, of course I could do that. See, uh, the Aces, of course, all uh, magically, um, or the Jokers, sorry, get turned into the the Aces right there. So so there you go. That's that's the, uh, the, uh, the little switch trick there, you see? Getting those uh, search engine optimizations, if you know what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, just... Uh, just uh, working a YouTube. So uh, for this, pretty much, it's it's simple. You're gonna need a a Joker, and of course, if you've been following along with the uh, the markings, you're gonna need the four aces along with the Joker here. Now, if you want to ditch the Joker, you could put the deck in a position. Um, I would say over here for later. I'll, I'll show you guys a little cool ditch later. But um, for this, it's pretty much as simple as it gets. But uh, it's 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 a hard hitting trick if you want to start uh, with whatever four ace routine you wanna you wanna blow their blow their panties with. So for this, obviously, you're gonna do a, a fl frustration count to begin. Uh, let's do the uh, let's get the yeah that's what's up right there. So we're gonna do the, the frustration count. Now I do it a little bit fancy. I do this little uh, spin here, which is completely unnecessary, and we'll probably tip the method to the frustration count. However, the basic frustration count for those of you that are autistic or, um, or black, uh, the way the frustration count works is that you have whatever card you wanted to show multiple times in the bottom and you hold it in your right hand, you turn this palm over, turn the palm back down and thumb off the top card. So to them, it should give the illusion that you are showing all the cards, but you're just showing the bottom card the entire time. Now the little spinny flicking shit, you're just pretty much revolving the cards this way instead of doing the uh, frustration count just in this sort of boring fashion. So that's your uh, your, your Buck Twins uh, variation there. Just enjoy it. So pretty much you're going to do the frustration count for the first three cards, showing them uh, that they are jokers. And then the last one is going to be a double. This one you just spin a double round on top of the pile and should be ready to, to, to blow some minds here with this fantastic ace switch trick. Uh, uh, there you go. So for this, what you're going to do, I like to either do two things at this moment. You either do some sort of a, one of these uh, paint brush changes there that are going around the, the, the street right there. You could do this paint brush change, right? Where it should look a little bit like, there you go. That's, that's how it looks like for that explanation. It's uh, you're holding a double here. And what's going to happen is that you are just pressing your thumb, the card to the left, and the fingers behind are putting a little bit of pressure so that when you combine those actions, this card actually just flips onto the, the little packet right here, and the uh, first ace is shown there. That's one of the methods that I could use. The other one is this little bit of a, of a blow change. If you want to get a little bit sexual with the spectator, you turn the double over, and you hold the cards between your thumb, uh, your right thumb, and your left thumb here at the extreme corners. Now, if you give a strong, sharp blow, what's gonna happen is that the card's gonna spin over like that. However, if you're trying as hard as you can not to show your face on camera, it's kind of hard, so. <sighs> Plus, it depends on your blowing ability. So, uh, ladies, this is a good, uh, good change for you. But if you blow sharply at either this corner or this corner right here, the card should flip and revolve 
So you're left in this position here, which is a very nice looking color change. That's the, uh, the first ace. Now the second one, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna displace the cards a little bit, counting off one card onto your left hand, counting off another, and then dropping this double on top as you show the bottom card. Again, this should be sort of like a little shuffle action. It shouldn't look like you're actively displacing the cards, but it should look like you're just uh, just fidgeting with the cards a bit. So the next change is kind of a, a double change that um, I haven't seen really, but uh, I'm sure somebody, Ed Marlowe probably calls it the, uh, the, the Die Vernon Circumcision Jew Count. So you do uh, this count right here. You once again count two cards onto the left hand showing one ace, I mean, sorry, one joker here. Put this on top of the packet and thumb this off to your right hand. Now you're gonna use this one to flip over the next card, which is actually a joker. So in this position, you're left with an ace over here and a joker over here. So you could do this color change two ways, either at the end of the day, what's happening is that you're flipping the packet over. That's, that's all that's happening. Whether you wanna shake it like this or you wanna shake it like this, all that's happening is that you're putting your fingers here and just turning both cards over. So what it should look like is that this joker actually turns into an ace. So again, as I'm doing this little, uh, this, this fan motion here, what's happening is that I'm just flipping the cards over and uh, that should give the illusion that the color change has taken place. So at speed, it should look a little bit like that. It's a very, uh, very sexual move. If the uh, spectators are just proportioned correctly, they'll, they'll probably want to uh, jump you there. But wait, wait, you got two more aces here. So don't, don't jump on me yet, all you ladies. So once again, after this color change, you uh, drop this ace on top of the other ace and you say, oh, that's fantastic, but I know what you're, you're thinking. Can you do both aces at the same time? Yeah, yes, I can. So you just turn this joker over on top of the little packet. You're gonna pretty much slide over the bottom card, which is a little bit hard because these, uh, these cards are very slick. Should, uh, very slick. So you wanna pull this card to the left at the same time that you turn both hands over to kind of show that the jokers magically change into apparently the aces. Now again, if you wanna go for the, uh, the fancy way, you could, but really nobody's, nobody cares about how, how little life you have. So you, just, you could just turn these over and it's kind of an impressive change there. So you show the, uh, the aces this way and uh, there you go. So if you wanna ditch them, what you can do since the top card is the joker, you do that little count again um, with the last card, of course, being a double, put that there. And pretty much what's gonna happen is that you're gonna start approximating, just turning the aces over in this very dramatic fashion in, uh, with this hand being dangerously close to the deck. So if you haven't figured it out, you're getting a, a little bit of a break right there below the card that gets transferred to a thumb break. So that as the attention is on the aces over here, this hand just casually touches the deck and drops that joker off so that you could then uh, show off the aces and say, oh, look, you could even look at them and touch them to make sure that they're not uh, these um, TV magic trick cards. So that's, uh, that's a cool little routine you could do just to kind of get into any sort of ace trick that you wanna do. I'm sure there's a lot on this channel they should look at. So uh, you, you guys enjoy that, enjoy that trick, pr practice it well. Um, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Nintendo Switch right, right out of here. <laughs> <clears throat> no. See you again when I 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 see you again.